Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tom, I'm an Open University student and today's video I'm going to basically go over what units I am doing, what well, modules I am doing this year for my hopefully, for hopefully my final year of Open University. Um, I'll go over briefly what each one is, roughly what they're about and then yeah we'll see where it goes. So hopefully you'll enjoy the video and let's get straight into it. So one of the first modules I'm doing this year is TM351, which is data management and analysis. Now, if you know what modules I've done in previous years, you'll know that I haven't actually done every module you're supposed to do before you do this module. Um, I forgot which one it is off the top of my head. I'll put a little thing here in the bottom saying which one I've missed out on. Um, but I did the other ones too. There's the M250, I believe, and then there's the second one, which again, I'll put across here. Um, you're supposed to do them two, and then you can go on to do this module. Now, to, to be able to do this module, I had to basically do a separate application because the module picker, or the section of the website where you pick which modules you study, uh, simply wouldn't let me pick this one because I haven't done the previous modules, which makes sense, it's fine. Um, so I had to go through a different way, which is basically just you say, you choose which module you want to do, which module you haven't done, and then you explain why, in theory, you should be able to do that module. Um, for me, it was based off that I've done a Skillshare class, um, looking at data management and working with Python in Jupyter Notebooks, stuff like that. Um, I will put a link to Skillshare if you don't know what Skillshare is. I'll put a link in the description for that. Um, but yeah. So I went through there and then said, yeah, fine, no worries. So it's basically down to me if I completely like flop in this module. But basically, this module is about, and apologies again for reading the side, you know what I'm like, I prefer to read. And then I know I've got the right information to tell you. So it's about, it covers introduction to data analysis, concepts in data management, legal and ethical issues in data, obviously a big thing, and then data analytic concepts. So that's pretty all pretty self-explanatory. And then this is what the work is. So the work is basically all online. You get no textbooks in this module. Nothing is delivered to you at all. It's all online based. Um, and obviously with data analysis, working with data in general, you will spend the vast majority of your time at your computer anyway. Um, obviously, you could access the online material through like your phone or tablet or whichever, but realistically, you want to be sat with your computer, your laptop, Mac, whichever, because you're obviously doing a lot of practical work that requires access to the internet, access to data, software, stuff like that. So the practicals, as I implied earlier, it's all done through Jupyter Notebooks um, and using Python language. Now you don't have to be a Python expert at all to do this module, I don't think anyway. Um, in the opening weeks, they give you activities to do to get up to speed with Python. Typically, I believe if that through the previous two years of Open University, you will have come across Python and used Python at some point. Um, it definitely doesn't hurt to learn Python beforehand, of course. Python is one of the most used languages in the world right now, so to use Python, learning Python isn't going to be a bad thing at all. So yeah, you'll be using a lot of Python, and then you also use software if you, well, you have to connect to a server to use Jupyter Notebooks because Open University puts a lot of different things into one software for you. So you can either connect purely online to their server and go through that way, or you can do a local server. It's completely up to you. They give you the choice to do either. I went with local um, just because it's more in my control, I guess. And if I really have to, then I can then connect to the server for a backup if I need to. So for the local, you have to download a, you have to download Docker, um, which is, as, well, it's, what, it's like a package manager. I don't really know Docker that well, I'll be honest. Um, but it's like a packet manager and it can, it basically acts like an internal server. So 
it, your computer will think and act like it's connecting to a server, but it will be all instantaneously because it's just on your computer. It's not actually going through the internet for it. Um, so yeah, you can either do that through Docker and downloading the Open University package, or you can connect purely online to their server. Completely up to you. Uh, I made a note actually of the Skillshare class that I did. Um, it was by Frank Kane. It's data science and machine learning with Python. I did that in the summer um, before this module started. Again, I'll leave a link in Skillshare if you want to use it. Um, get a free two month trial, not sponsored or anything silly like that, of course. But um, yeah, I'll put a link in the description. So the assessments for this module are there's two TMAs, there's seven ICMAs, and then there is the EMA at the end. So the TMAs are quite far apart. I've already done my first one, which was in middle of November, I believe. And then my second one's not till March, like March 18th, something like that. So it's quite a big difference, quite far apart. And then obviously the EMA, which will be due in like May, June time. So the big assessments are spread out quite far. But as you notice, I had seven ICMAs. Um, they are quite, quite frequent, basically once a month, there's an ICMA essentially. Um, it's not too bad, it's good. ICMAs are your typical ICMAs, they're fairly straightforward to use. Um, you can do them as many times as you want. The passing rate of the ICMAs, I believe you have to get at least 30 or 40% on five of them. And then that that's past that. And also the score of the ICMAs don't actually affect your overall grade. Um, so you literally just need to get that 40% and you can still get top marks. Um, providing you of course do well in your TMAs and your EMA. Uh, I did a little note of why I chose to do this module. I chose to do this module because I've had a broad look at my degree. If you go over the previous modules that I've done, it covers a wide spectrum of different aspects of IT and computing. Um, and for me, I believe that data management is becoming a huge topic and a huge sector of computing and IT. Uh, and it, it definitely can't hurt to be able to know how to analyze and collect data um, in the modern day. I think data is just going to become even more and more important as time goes on. So definitely isn't a bad thing in my eyes. And that's why I chose to do this module. Um, it's yeah, that's why I chose to do this module. So. The second module I have done is TM352, which is Web, Mobile and Cloud Technologies. Now this is quite linked to a previous year two module. It just goes obviously a lot more in depth and has a much greater in depth look at the cloud in particular. Um, so what is it about? It's about the techniques, applications and issues relevant to employing web, mobile and cloud technologies both individually and in combination. Um, currently, I'm looking at just the individual part and obviously towards the end, I think there's some sort of like overall project for the EMA, which will combine all three. Um, develop research and, and develop research and analytical skills when discussing web, mobile and cloud technologies. Pretty self-explanatory. So what is the work like? The work again is all online no textbooks whatsoever so i am living a pretty light textbook life right now um the user's netbeans software for the first part of the module um if you've you may have very well come across netbeans in previous modules i believe the m250 java one that uses netbeans um and there's probably a few others that uses netbeans netbeans is quite heavily used by ou from what i gather um, again, pretty straightforward. They give you lots of practical activities to get you used to NetBeans if you've never used NetBeans before. Um, so don't worry too much about that. There will be people that will complain that oh, you still use NetBeans because there's probably better software out there. But don't worry about it. It's just get on with it. You have to use that. So there's no point complaining about it. Um, there's three TMAs, no ICMAs. All three TMAs are evenly split in percentages. Same for the other module as well, the um, the 3M, 3M51, TM351, um, that's got two TMAs, they're evenly split as well. So for TM352, three, three TMAs, all evenly split, 55, well, 33, 33, 33, 
and then there's obviously an EMA and collectively it's the three TMAs at 50% and the EMA is worth 50%, which is where I got 50-50 bit from. So why I chose this module? For me, it covers a wide range of topics that can form a very, very good base knowledge to cover many different careers and aspects of computing and IT. Um, and for me, the cloud is something that, again, much like data in general, cloud is becoming even more important. Um, in just as, as time goes on, so I think learning in depth about the cloud can only be beneficial. Um, so that's basically one of the reasons why I chose this module. Um, one thing I have noticed that I didn't put down in here, from my first part of the module, um, I'm on the second part now. The second part looks at OpenStack as, um, as a cloud provider. And then it also compares to AWS, which is Amazon's Amazon Web Service, which is a much more commonly used, I believe, um, clouding technology and clouding structure and all that. So it does cover Amazon as well, which Amazon is a very big topic. Um, if you see a lot of cloud books out there that you want to learn from for the cloud, they typically will also focus on Amazon as well because Amazon's such a big player these days. Um, so you will get that Amazon based knowledge as well which is good to know. And the third and final module that I'll be doing this year, um, I haven't written much notes down for it because it hasn't started yet. It's the TM470, the Computing and IT Project, which is basically the, the big finale of my entire degree. So no pressure. So far, like I say, it doesn't start till February. There was forums open in beginning of November, I believe. And it is, it's a weird one. They heavily advise you to do it on a module that you've already completed, a level three module that you've already completed. And then you basically are kind of left to do what you want. They give you a very basic example of what you could do. Um, and they give you examples of what you could do based on what modules you are basing your project on. But essentially you're supposed to take the entire knowledge you've got from that one module you want to base your project on and then build upon that. So do a lot of research and then build or plan, heavily plan or just create some big project at the end which uses that knowledge, shows that you've done research to build upon that to make it even, even greater than what you could have been and then hand that in. So I will do a more in-depth video on the computing and IT project once I've completed the computing and IT project because I've gone through the entire process. Based on student reviews, people seem to either love it or hate it um, because the tutors kind of just give you free reign from what I've heard. Um, a lot of students can get lost in it and no doubt I will be one of them at some point. Um, it's typical of me to get lost at some point. So. I'm nervous for it just because I know there's less structure to it so it's easier to go wrong and I think that's me just being honest with it. Maybe I might do a video about it once I get on my way with it but from what I can hear it's what I understand it's a lot of work and some students have said they would rather have done it by itself whilst not studying any other module because it's so in-depth at times because you're kind of left to your own devices you spend more time researching then obviously you've got to produce the actual project itself i believe there's like three parts to it i don't know if there's tmas but i believe there's like three separate parts and then you hand in work at certain rates similar to a tma and then your tutor kind of gives you feedback on it it's very up in the air what you actually do but like I say, I'll do a video on that when I get more in depth with it. Now, the other two modules, I've done the first TMA of both modules. It is going good. I'm enjoying it. The data one is a lot of work. A lot of reading is required. A lot of practical work. And I feel like in previous modules, practical work can be it can be something you can skip if you need to. Wouldn't recommend, of course, 
but I feel like sometimes in a time crunch you do occasionally skip those practical work. For the data one I would highly suggest you don't skip any, um, or at least complete the theory and then go back and do the practicals, which is what I tend to do because I don't like doing practice, I don't like doing theory, do a practical, go back to the theory to continue with that, to do another practical to go back. I don't, I, that's just not how it works. I tend to do full theory based, all the reading, making notes, stuff like that, and then going back and then completing practical work in order. That's just how I prefer to do it. You might be different, but I would suggest not skip any practical work if you, if it's possible. So give yourself plenty of time if you are going to do this module to read and do all practical work. The 352 Web Mobile and Cloud Technologies has been a lot more, it's possibly been more interesting than I thought it would. Um, like I say, the Year 2 Web Technologies module, it, it very, very quickly brushes over what the cloud is and doesn't really go in depth with it. So it is quite interesting learning about the cloud in particular. Um, so yeah, it's good so far. Again, I will do a a purposed video on each module at the end of the year when I completed it like I normally do. Um, I just wanted to basically just check in, say what I'm doing, say Happy New Year's to you guys because of course by the time this goes out it probably is 2021. I hope you guys have a better 2021 than we did in 2020. Um, all you guys that are studying from Open University, I hope you're getting on alright. Um, some of you might be starting in February, good luck in future. Some of you might be starting next October and just watching these videos to see what's happening. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, any questions about anything in particular, feel free to comment or DM me on Instagram. I will try and become more active on YouTube, but it's me, so I'll not hold my breath as much. Um, you know, we all know I'm not particularly the best at being active on YouTube, but again, got any questions, DM me. Instagram, links in the description, comment away, whichever, and I will reply to you when I can. Uh, thank you so much for watching, feel free to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Adios.